Welcome. Now, the question for today is, have you ever thought what does the inside of your laptop look like after 10 years? Now, I've got a laptop over here. It's almost 10 years old MacBook and I'm gonna tear it apart. So I've got a rig over there. Hello guys. So you can see exactly what's gonna happen inside over here as well. All these screws, everything's coming out, but let's have a look like, how has it done its journey over the 10 years? Actually, generally, it still looks pretty cool. I've got a few stickers over here. I don't know who thought that was cool, but not if you know what not is. Generally, actually, the body looks pr still pretty slick. I have dropped it uh, once. So if you can see this corner over here, you can see that it's actually bent a little bit, which actually shows that very strong framework work of the MacBook, which is which is pretty cool. On the bottom over here, there is a little dent over here on this corner. You can see that over here. The legs over here are con completely. I'm sure there was some other text on the bottom over here before, but it's it's all gone. Now, if you look, uh, there's I think there's a little dent over here on this side as well, but generally done very well. Now, over here, there is one key missing because I ripped it out before doing the video. I don't know, I just wanted to see. So the keyboard is all fine. This is all fine. It looks fine over here, the inside. Let's see if we can actually open it up and look what is inside. There is a small plus head screws, so let's see. Perfect, and we found the right tool, okay. So there's a few screwdrivers over here, but in here, you find the right screws. Let's open it up. Whoa, okay. This screw was a bit bigger over here, as you can see. Let's have a look at, but this one is a bit longer as well. Yeah, two longer screws. Okay. So all the screws are open. Let's see if this panel comes off. Voila! Whoa. Can you see how much dust is in here? This, this over here is absolutely disgusting. Ugh, loads of muck in here. Okay, I'm gonna put this panel on the side. So this is uh, the uh, laptop over here. Okay, this is the, uh, this is the motherboard. Look at that. How small is this? I think this is the RAM. This is the battery, hard drive and disk drive. What do we take out first? Let's take the battery out first, okay? Warning, do not remove the battery. Well, we are, so let me see. How do we remove it? Okay, there's a screw over here. Oh, huh, what type of screw is this? There's like a little, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but this one over there is like a, must like a Mercedes badge type of screw. Hmm, don't worry, we'll figure it out. To be honest, I'm surprised actually. I thought this is gonna be much, much worse inside, but this fan is probably absolutely like, look how small this fan is. Look, this tiny little fan is supposed to do all the cooling work. Oh, this is a speaker over here. Okay. Okay, and the battery is coming out. Okay, we have this over here. and the battery is removed. Whoa, this is really mucky over here. That's the lithium battery. They promised 10 hours of uh, usage time. So let's see what else can we do. Okay, that I think. Okay, hard drive next. Okay, let's see if we can take these off instead. Take as much screws out as possible. Oh, that's the hard drive. Hey, hey, I was, I was doing the wrong screws. Boom, and we have the hard drive, the personal data. Okay, let's put it on the side. 250 gigabytes, 2010 or nine. Well, must've been a big deal then, but well, it sure isn't now. So let's see what else can we take off. Okay, I think this is the RAM, so let's see if we can take this off. So many tiny little screws, like 5,000 screws later. Let's see if this comes off now. Okay, oh, there's another one over here. Hiding little one over there. 
Whoa, yes. So, the disk drive. Oh, it's full of dust over here. Look at that. Look at all that dust over here. Ugh. Mental. That's that's the little speaker over here. I oh, know, there's the hinge screws, as you can see over, over here. There's hinge screws over here, and oh, there's a screw that we can take off. Come on, let's take it off then. Oh, the RAM, it's coming off. Boom, haha, <laughs> there we go. What does it say? Two gigabytes, two gigabytes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. RAM one and RAM two over here. Okay, two RAMs, they have been taken off. Proper trying to track, tackle this, these talks here at the moment. Trying to get them off. Okay. Yes. Okay, just a little update. I've been absolutely hassling these screws here. I've got a ah, pain in my neck. So basically this motherboard is almost loose. Something is still holding it on together, but, but I'm just trying to get it out. Okay, okay. There was like one little, one more attachment holding onto it, the other side. And we have the motherboard off. This is absolutely tiny. I mean, there's dust flowing everywhere. It's absolutely ridiculous. That in my hand here, that's, that's, that's the main thing. That's what's running it all. Can you believe that? Absolutely mental. You can see there's some kind of speaker over here as well, but it's so dusty. And I can't believe this little thing over here, this little fan, that, little thing over here that's like the the heat sink tiny tiny little bit if you turn it to the other side we can see a little bit more you've got the ports usb ports on this side then this is like the little heat sink that goes over here and that little fan over here that tiny little thing blows air onto this thing always went so 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 warm basically that's 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 the main part of the laptop no wonder they can make them so much smaller nowadays this was like 10 years ago let's take the heat shrink off that over here, this is the heat shrink. Look on over here, you can see the, the actual, um, this is like the thermal paste that's been put on. They've put absolutely loads, so it's overflowing on each side. I'm just wondering why is there like two, looks like there's two chips, but maybe the other one is the graphics card. I'm not quite sure, but one of them is the um, CPU. As you can see over here, this one over here, I'm pretty sure this is the CPU. And I'm not sure what this is until there's no markings over here but there is markings over here maybe someone can comment and let me know what this bit over here is this over here is the processor the cpu the main brain it does all the processing power and because there's loads of electricity going on over there it gets warm so basically you know like when you boil a kettle there's loads of electricity going through there and it gets warm so the same thing is happening over here so that's why it needs to be cooled down otherwise it just melts down all but this thing that was on top of here was taking the heat from here and then putting it onto this tiny tiny little radiator as you can see which is very very interesting The fan was just blowing the hot air away and then hopefully cold air in. Look at this dust. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's quite hard to get this uh, processor off over here because if you see on these corners over here, four corners, there seems to be some kind of glue. So they've glued the processor on the thing over here because they pr probably couldn't like have attachment that holds processor in the, in the chipset. Okay, let's see if we can take the keyboard off as well. How does this work? These are the smallest screws in the world. Look at the size of this screw. Can you see this black dot on the top of my, my finger? See that over here? That here is a screw. Unless there's like some screws in the middle as well. Let me just take this off. As you can see, black paper on one side, white on the other side. And now this is the keyboard here. I'm trying to take the keyboard frame off, but for some reason it's not coming off. Oh yeah, there's uh, 10 million other screws inside there to just keep that keyboard you know, nicely and tight onto the frame over here. But as you can see over here, there's the keyboard, but it's screwed onto these frames as well inside, inside over there. That's, that's it finished basically. I think it's awesome to see that someone's engineered it all put all this together like this is the main part that actually does it you know it's got the processors in add a little bit of ram that's over here 
and then you've got the hard drive, you've got the battery, you've got everything and suddenly it becomes a portable thing. How awesome, awesome that is. Also, I've realized that I know what these two cables were here for. You know, I wasn't quite sure what these two cables were for that go into the hinge or shin here over there. But I actually realized that these are the monitor cables. They go to the monitor, you know, because obviously you need some kind of image to show it. But it's interesting how they can like compact so many things inside this tiny little space and make it all work. Look, there's one speaker over here on the motherboard. There's another one over here. That's the uh, that's the speaker over there. And I can see that there's one speaker on the side over here as well. So there's three speakers that they've kind of managed to put inside this tiny little PC and a full DVD drive made in China. It's made in China. So that's uh, what's inside of a MacBook Pro. I don't know if you're wondering why did I make this video, but basically, that laptop died, there was some water damage that got into the keyboard and trackboard and then it stopped working completely, so basically it's completely useless now, so because I'm getting a new one, I thought why not, you know, tear the old one apart and see what's actually inside, because uh, I quite like tearing things apart, because you know, you use the laptop all the time, but you never know what's inside. So there you go. That's that's what's inside. A lot of dust and some old technology. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.